Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about an in-vehicle safe that I picked up for a Chevy Silverado 1500, which actually belongs to a buddy of mine, and it's made by Console Vault. If you look around my channel, you've seen that I reviewed a few different Console Vaults. Started out with mine on my Chevy Colorado, then added one to another vehicle of mine. Then friends of mine started seeing my reviews, contacted me, asked me for my real opinion which happens to be the same exact opinion that I put into the videos, but you know how friends are. And then one by one, they have been asking me to install the console vault in their vehicles. So for today happens to be a Chevy Silverado 1500. Had a few different nuances that I haven't seen before with other console vault safes that I've installed, but I'll go over that little by little throughout this video. First off, if you're not familiar with console vault, they offer in vehicle safes that to me are second to none. They are made specifically for that vehicle that it is intended to be in. So it's not some general safe that's one size fits all. These safes are made to fit precisely in your vehicle, just like if it came from the dealership. Now there are a lot of makes and models that Console Vault offers and they're adding more and more on a weekly basis. I will have links in the descriptions as well as in the comments field where you could get this information. See if there is a Console Vault specifically for your vehicle and you could get a lot more of the specifics from there. So be sure to check that out. Now the Console Vault is constructed from heavy gauge steel, rolled plate steel, welded tabs and notch seams. It has a superior triple guard locking system and what's cool about this is the first vehicle that actually came with their new electric lock. Now I have a video for this specific new lock that is offered by Console Vault, but I'll go a little bit into the detail how to set this up. The safes, as I'm about to show you, easy installation, definitely DIY. For this specific Silverado, it was actually the easiest install that I've done so far. All I needed was a Phillips head screwdriver and a flathead screwdriver. And that was about it to get this installed. Took about 10 minutes. I have complete faith that you'll be able to do this install on your own. The other thing about this specific console vault is the fact that there are USB ports that were in the way and console vault addressed these issues by having extra cables and extended cables in order to extend that USB port, keeping it serviceable, keeping it in use so you don't lose anything by adding this console vault to your vehicle. Keep in mind that console vault offers a lifetime warranty and another great benefit from console vault is that if you are a veteran, you do get a discount. So once again, thumbs up for that. Thank you, console vault. So let's get into the installation process. Now dealing with the new electronic lock. This is the option that you opted for as opposed to the elite lock or one of the other options as far as locks. I'm gonna go over this one. Is this the one that's on a vehicle? That's the one that I'm going to install. But keep in mind that in other videos that I've done on the console vault that are linked in the description below, I do go over how to configure and install those type of locks from the Elite on down. So uh, once again, if you want that information, be sure to watch those videos. Now, in order to gain access to inside the console vault, it comes locked while it's shipped. From here, the factory code is just zero on these. So you would hit the zero, hit OK, and just turn your notch to be able to unlock it. Now, when it comes to changing the code, I'm gonna go with a four digit code here. So I'm going to use four ones. I'm gonna go with the default, which is zero. Hit okay and hold the okay down for two seconds. You heard that click, little blue light is on. I'm gonna go with the new code, which is four ones for the purpose of this video. Hit okay. And then one more time, four ones. Hit okay. And blue light is off. New combination is now active, which is the four ones. So from here, testing out the new uh, code four ones, one, two, three, four, hit okay, hear the click, and I'm able to lock. And that's it, that's simple, set any combination that you want. So as I mentioned earlier, there is a USB port in the console itself, and when you install the console vault, it will block that USB port. So the first thing we wanna do is there's a trim that goes around the console vault, and you'll see that it's already notched out for the USB adapter that comes with it. And first thing you wanna do is go ahead and install that two Phillips head screws, just unscrew them, put them through the hole, screw the two screws back in, and you're good to go. Now, as you look inside the vehicle, you'll see the little plastic piece that actually needs to uh, be popped out with a flathead screwdriver. There's a little notch up on top and one on the bottom. Depress that, the little plastic housing with the USB port inside will come out a couple inches. 
Now that's gonna give you the wiggle room that you need to hook up the USB adapter that is on the console volt trim piece. And on the bottom of the console, you're gonna see four Phillips head screws and you're gonna go ahead and remove the two Phillips head screws that are closer to the back of the console. From there, you're gonna drop the console volt in and match up the holes on the console volt with the screw holes that you just removed. Once that's there, you're gonna go ahead and take the two Phillips head screws that came with the console volt and you're gonna go ahead and screw them in. Suggest to tighten them, but don't over tighten them. You still want a little bit of wiggle room in order to adjust your console volt before you tighten those screws fully in. From there, you'll take the console volt trim that has the USB adapter on it. You're gonna take that tail end of the USB and plug it in to that little adapter that came from the factory inside the console volt. Tell there's plenty of room on the side, so you'll tuck everything away in there. Keep in mind that also on the trim itself, there is some uh, 3M double-sided tape, and you'll want to remove that in order to affix that for the permanent installation. Now, if everything's good to go, go ahead and there, tighten the Phillips head screws all the way, making sure that everything is nice and lined up. SB cable is plugged in to the factory USB and now you are good to go. And now that is pretty much it for the installation. So you could tell there's a lot of attention to detail that Console Vault puts into their safes. And it's one of the reasons why I gravitated to their safes as opposed to other options that are in the market. As always, I appreciate if you like, comment. Also, if you decide to buy from Console Vault, I have an affiliate link. I have it pinned in the comments field as well as in the description below. So if you do purchase, I appreciate the support if you go ahead and utilize my affiliate. So bottom line, if you're in the market for an in-vehicle safe that is custom made for your vehicle, made with attention to detail, strongly suggest you take a look at Console Vault.